22nd of February, 1942. We have begun our assault on the port and airfield facilities of Makassar. Our initial assaulting force of 2,500 troops have gained a foothold on the coast and plans are in action for the resupply convoy to head straight back to Balik Papan and return with a further 2,500 troop reinforcements to push through our attack. This has not come without loss. The heavy cruiser Atago has been sunk. The Allied defences, made up mostly of airstrikes, have dealt a killer blow. However, this will not diminish our resolve or lessen our morale. Despite the loss of the heavy cruiser, we have seen a number of success stories. With our anti-submarine patrol sinking an enemy submarine, and our very own sub, I-121, sinking a number of enemy merchant and oiler ships. In the coming days, we will continue to push our attack on Makassar and look to develop the airfields at Banjamasin to improve our air strength over the Java Sea. Hi everyone, welcome back. Here we are, War on the Sea, Centrifugal Offensive, 22nd of February 1942. Um, we've recently landed troops on Makassar. Uh, two and a half thousand troops were landed. We've lost 500 in the initial conflict. 2,000 still putting up a bit of a fight. Meanwhile, we've got the remnants of our resupply task group, minus the heavy cruiser, which was sunk last time, steaming as fast as they can back to Balik Papan uh, to get some more troops to um, 15,500 troops there. So we can get another 2,500 on those, on those ships and drop them back in Makassar um, to kind of put up the, uh, the good fight. Uh, meantime, we've got the anti-submarine patrol hunting around here because we know there's been... Uh, submarines in this area hunting this resupply task group in particular and we've also sent I-121 down here to try and hunt for any flat tops on the ally side or any capital ship in general after we've seen well a little while now we have some Avenger torpedo bombers which were coming into the scene which um, was a little bit worrying but um, all is well for the moment um, in Banjamasin, we have recently upgraded uh, the airfield there and built a level 1 airfield which allows us to have some 3 Oscar fighters, um, some Betty bombers and some uh, KI-30 and bombers as well. Only two of them, but um, at a push they'll certainly give us something of a defence, which is good. And this task group is going to head back up here to Tarakan to pick up some more supplies. Um, we've got 1700 supplies there, 200 engineering, three, uh, 39 fuel. To upgrade this to a level 2, um, we've got. Ooh, we need a little bit of engineering. Um, oh no, sorry, no, no. We need 100 engineering, 100 fuel, which we've got 101 engineering and 99 fuel, so we need a touch of fuel. And uh, we need 600 supplies. And then we get this up to a level 2 airfield, which hopefully will give us a few more aircraft to sort of patrol the Java Sea and protect our ships. Uh, in the meantime, I've read your comments. Thank you so much. <laughs> uh, ranging from pronunciation, um, uh, thank you very much. I'll, I will probably forget that during the midst of combat or anything, um, but I'll try and keep um, the, the uh, Japanese two syllable speech pattern in mind when I try and pronounce things I, I will forget and I'll just resort back to my 40 plus years of English pronunciation and um, yeah it's gonna be a nightmare but I'll try I'll try I will promise and um, and the suggestions of what we can go um, a couple of calls for uh, an aircraft carrier with some escorts uh, to kind of sit back but then cover with the ship the aircraft over our um, task groups which is a great idea a little bit worried about the um the the uh, the carrier to be honest but um having a look at them um uh, yes here we go the so rayu so rayu something like that uh, i think this was the one the suggested um we don't have the cash for it we've only got 74 command points at present that costs 99 of course you'd need a couple of very effective um, escort ships for it there may be um, a light cruiser and some escort um, destroyers as well 
keep it safe from enemy aircraft and submarines. Um, so yeah, that is that is well, that's the cheapest option. Oh, we've got the um, Hirayu here as well, which is um, similar, but. Um, What's the difference in um, aircraft between them? Nothing. So they're very similar types. They've got the um, the lighter carriers as well, the um, the escort carriers. Uh, but these carry, you know, six peat scout planes and eighteen Jake medium bomber float planes, which is not really what you want. Um, getting into a more conventional, which looks like a, a merchant ship, which has had a deck conversion in the. Um, Akitsu Maru class light carrier. Uh, again, um, just not particularly good scout aircraft. Um, we got the uh, Ho Shu class carrier. <laughs> Trying to break that one down. Um, that looks not too bad. And you got torpedo bombers and um, like clawed fighters, which are brilliant. I don't know what the price of that would be. But it's not available yet, anyway. Um, the Ryu Joe um, 80 looks more like a carrier, doesn't it? And this gives us 24 clawed, 16 Kate torpedo bombers, and 8 Kate medium bombers. So, again, not brilliant, and that's 80. So, probably worth saving the money or the command points, saving up and getting one of these when you get zero fighters. Um, rather than the the other fighters, because these are obviously far better in terms of performance and ability. So yeah, that, that's something to go look in forward. We'll um, we'll save up. One thing we can check is what we've got about to release command points. So in four days, the Kagiru destroyer um, will be released, and we'll get the points back from that. Oh, in two days we got the Akatsuki. Destroyer and the Aratama Maru Merchant. Good. I'm trying. <laughs> um, but but you know, further along, we've also got the Mayoko Heavy Cruiser in 40 days, uh, or two of those actually, one in 34 days, which will release a uh, quite a lot of command points, which may allow us to um, get the the flat top with some escort ships as well uh, but for now um, I want to one is going to continue on a patrol this resupplied task group is going to head up to Balak Papan to collect more troops and um, this supply convoy is going to head back up to uh, Tarakan to try and get some more supplies to upgrade the airfield here and at 20 to 12 on the 22nd of February task force resupply whatever it is. <laughs> it's not doesn't quite ring true does it the name um, if we can manage cargo, let's see if we can cram some more troops on board. And we're going to take these boys back into hell itself, but trying to land them on Makassar to help our other boys out. Right, there you go. Steer a course, direct. It's going to be 22 hours, so we should be hitting that. Um, less than a just under a day away, so uh, probably around about 9 o'clock, 9 p.m. on the 23rd, which hopefully we can come in under the cover of darkness and we'll get a good deal of the way out of trouble under the cover of darkness as well. Okay, we're coming up to the evening. As you can see, they've managed to get all the way to Makazar without any enemy attention. Uh, we've got the three... Um, fighters from um, Banjamasin uh, doing a cap over resupply obviously they have to keep going back to refuel every so often um, but yes now these guys are here let's unload all cargo Boom. and how are we looking there now oh that's looking at much more uh, of an evening fight isn't it we're still um, probably 40% 40, 40 to their 60% of troops but 4,300 uh, troops on the ground now if we can do another push, so we'll get these guys setting course straight back and look at Balak Papan. Just under 13,000 troops now, but they don't need those. We can certainly get take another 
a um, couple of thousand troops off there. Oh, just engineering, engineering and fuel is there as well. Just seeing that. We've still got some. Let's just need to pinch one or two. That's fine. Uh, task Force 7, the um, merchant task group, is still heading up there slowly. Uh, about halfway there before we can get some more resupplies so we can upgrade the airfield down here. So, yeah, there's, um, as I say, 20 to 10 now. We'll just drop the troops off and they'll be sailing back um, from Makassar back to um, Balikpapan. So, hopefully, before 6 a.m., they should be. Hopefully out of the trouble zone, but yeah, they will have a couple of fighters from Banjamasin to uh, protect them. What good that will be. And the following day, quarter to eight on the 28th of February, unmolested, the uh, resupply convoy has made it back. So we'll <laughs> we'll rinse and repeat. Let's load up some more troops. Um, we'll get these back down to Makassar ASAP. There we go, fantastic. Uh, and obviously, due to the time it takes to do that, they'll be slightly earlier, so another 22 and a half hours. So they'll be getting there ooh, around about 5, uh, which may be 5, 6 o'clock. So th <laughs> there may be some enemy aircraft in the area at that time, but um, we'll see, certainly send the ones from Van Jemison over um, and see what else is happening. But it's all quiet at the moment. At 10 past 4 on the 25th of February, I-121 has spotted potential targets. And she's hunting. Oh, there we go. I see them straight away. Two ships directly north. It looks like an escort ship. Small... I don't know what that is. A little corvette or something with a merchant ship behind. That seems to be... All that is on the horizon. So yeah, we definitely have a look to have a pop at that merchant ship, I think. So let's turn to port and um, set an intercept course for these two ships. Right, the escort ship, which we identified as a Shakespeare trawler, I think, arm trawler, has turned. The freighter, which we think is an M2, is still on a intercept course, or we're still on an intercept course with the original path that they were taking. Um, it may be that we may need to fire from further out because I think she may have detected us somehow. I don't think they were, uh, had any Aztec on the uh, trawlers, did they? Maybe they do, maybe they do, maybe that's what detected. But the freighter is still coming on the original path, which is good for us. If the uh, escort wants to veer off, brilliant. It leaves us the, uh, the prize. Um, but yeah, let's just, just monitor this for a few moments and sort of see what's going on here. Okay, there she is. She's coming almost in front of us now. The trawler escort ship. Can't even see where that's gone now. Is she even on the map? Yeah, there she is. She sailed off. Bizarrely. Um, leaving the prize to us, which is bizarre. Um... Oh, there she is. Look, there she is. Sailing off into the distance. Um, yeah, anyway. Anyway, you can see, the, we're lining up a nice little shot on the merchant. We're a little bit far out, but uh, we didn't want to give it ourselves away. Got 66% solution. Um, we can fire four torpedoes. I think maybe two torpedoes. With a um, small angle. Um, should be enough to try and sink these. So, um, 66, we'll hit 66 fire. Torpedoes away. Tubes one and two. Now we've got two more torpedoes should we want to have a follow up shot. I've just noticed they've got a rear deck gun so we can't surface and use the deck gun. Um, because no doubt they'll blow us out of the water but I'm thinking for an, a Merchant S2 two torpedoes if we get them on target should be sufficient. Uh, we got one hit, one slut behind. Um, shall I fire another torpedo? She's going down. 
certainly lower at the front. But we know how uh, deceptive this got. I think that one torpedo should be enough. The water level is rising over the deck bulkhead here. We think, is that... Oh, she's turned round. There we go. One torpedo was enough to sink the S2 merchant. Good. Oh, well, we wasted one, but that's not too too much of a bother. Right, let's um, let's clear the helm's orders, and we'll set course over there. Uh, let's get moving. Confirmation then, I-121 walks away, sinking a Merchant S2 for 1850 tons, and the Shakespearean trawler none the wiser. Fantastic. Uh, no command points sunk. Uh, I think we do only get those for Navy vessels, perhaps. Right, how many torpedoes? She's got 45 torpedoes, so she's absolutely fine. So she can continue on her patrol around there, searching for juicier targets than the merchant or two, but that's okay. Meantime, the resupply convoy is um, near. Dropping off uh, more troops at Makasa, and as you can see, hovering over them is the cap from the uh, the Oscars we've got from Banjamasin. Uh, how long their fuel will allow them to stay there? I'm not sure, but um, not long. Oh, and we just got 39 points from... Oh! Just got 39 points from the um, tick over from our success, and just as our Oscars head home to refuel, a resupply is hit by an air raid. Isn't that always the way? Oh, and here is the resupply convoy. It's a miserable day. Um, they are starting to make some speed, and they've spotted the, the aircraft coming in. Can't see any anti aircraft going up yet. Of course, losing the heavy cruiser also meant we lost our um, radar, our aerial radar, which gave us like, two Martins? There can't be just two aircraft, surely. Nope, there's another wave of four over there. So there's at least six. Oh, our Oscars would have chewed these guys up. Oh, anti-aircraft has already got one smoking. Bomb's gone! Bomb's gone from that vessel. They're going for the merchant, I think. The miss, thankfully. Here's the second wave of fighters or bombers coming in. Oh, sounds like they got a hit on that um, merchant vessel, but if that's all they can do, I'll be delighted with that, as long as there's not more waves of them. There you go, anti-aircraft from the um, light freighter, sorry, the light cruiser coming up now, and uh, you can see how effective that is. Well, it, fe it feels more effective with the uh, the black puffs of smoke blowing up around them and the um, tracer fire. One of the aircraft is smoking, I think it's this one here. Um, no actual killer blows, but um, certainly damaging them. Uh, checking on the status of our ships, the... Um, Kotu, uh, sorry, the Kotuku Maru um, was damaged. Look, she just took a little, bit of light damage on the bow, uh, so that's under repair now. Nothing to worry about. Um, so we got away with that one quite nicely, I think. So we'll just allow them to complete the repairs on this um, compartment. It's got quite, it's already got 84 integrity, so it's not too badly damaged. A bit of denting. Could have been a, a bomb has struck it, not detonated. It says a direct hit by a bomb. How come a direct hit from a bomb from Martin did minor damage to a uh, merchant ship? <laughs> it absolutely obliterated the propulsion of my heavy cruiser last time. Anyway, that, those are the just the luck of the draw, I suppose. But anyway, these um, guys are okay. They're just going to complete that repair and hopefully they'll be on their way. Confirmation then, six aircraft attack, no losses. 
and the um, it was the Kotuku Maru uh, minor damage, but she already had minor damage, so also flooding, moderate damage, but yeah, nothing much to report on this one. Meantime, ten to six, we've got the um, the Oscars coming back out. They're probably not going to make it before nightfall and uh, have to be returned to base, but resupply uh, has made it back to Madagascar. At uh, Madagascar. <laughs> Oh, my brain! Uh, Makassar. If they're in Madagascar, they have gone wrong. Um, fire the navigator. But there we go. Um, manage cargo. No, sorry. Uh, unload all cargo here. Fantastic. Um, there we go. We've almost got a 50 50 um, fight going on now with 6,000 troops on the ground. Fantastic. Right. With the night time coming, resupply should get a nice. Um, quiet run away from Makassar and back to uh, Ban Balik Papan to get some more troops and um, yeah hopefully all is well there. Meantime Tussle 7 is making its slow journey down the coast where we can get this upgraded to hopefully a level 2 airfield but um, as I mentioned earlier we've got some more um, points We've got another um, destroyer being released in another day, and in another four days, we've got the um, Artamama Maru merchant. Yep. Okay. Um, in four days, being released as well. But if we can wait maybe another day to get the points from that destroyer, um, that will give us the 99 we need for potentially a carrier and then some escort ships as well. At 12 o'clock on the 26th of February, I-121 on patrol has spotted some more quarry. Um, they say. Apparently she spotted some more quarry. Is there? Ah, yes. There we go. Uh, we've got what looks to be another escort trawler. Ooh, but we've got a tanker. Probably another S2 freighter and something else juicy in the background as well. Ooh, okay, we could have a pot shot at this and then. Why is that tanker breaking off course from the other ships? That's interesting. Have they spotted us? She's going behind the S2 freighter. Interesting. Um, this is definitely something we can radio back and call some aircraft in, I think. These are some juicy targets here, these merchant ships. Well worth um, pursuing. But let's try and set up an intercept and then uh, ambush and attack. Right, um, as you can see, the oiler, merchant and the Shakespearean trawler have all headed that way. However, the Cameron has stayed on track and is oops, and is um, coming straight into our clutches. We've got a 64%, 66% solution now. Um, let's rate that right down. She's moving. She's booking it fairly, but um, yeah, all good. Let's go and see. Is the solution dropping? Was it? I want to do a one degree spread. She's four sixty-six, sixty-four, sixty-six. Which way is it going to go? Sixty-six isn't too bad. If I fire, we should be good with that. Um, but if, to see if it's going to continue to climb, that might be as good as it gets, to be honest. We've got a good angle now. By the time the torpedoes get down there, I might wait a few more seconds. See if it improves, but yeah. Um, there we go, 68 will hold, will hold. Solution is getting better. As I said earlier, um, this is quite a juicy looking ship. Um, there we go, there she is. About 10,700 tons. Crew of 78, wow. Dual purpose, okay. She's got some anti aircraft fire on her. Yeah, it would be a good prize indeed. Right, so what are we doing? 68%, 66%. 
he gets a 70 that would be fantastic but it doesn't matter 68% is still a great percentage do we need four torpedoes to hit her hmm. I'm thinking not two should be good enough shouldn't it yeah two torpedoes fire she was one and two away and we've got two more in reserve should we need to oh we got a dud um, I'm gonna fire one more torpedo uh, do I need to or is she dead? No, tube one or oh, tube three, sorry, fire. See if we can get one more hit into her before the solution completely goes. Oh actually I needn't have bothered. She looks like she's listing right over. Recall that torpedo! Pull the string! <laughs> if only it was on a bit of rope we could oh that torpedo. Oh no, there there we go. Now it's turned to um its intercept course. It may not be needed by the looks of things. Meantime, um, the trawler has turned around. Oh, something blew up. The trawler has turned around. Um, uh, so, let us beat a hasty. We've lost the element of surprise, so let's head this way. And um, we will start diving. And that's it. She's finally gone. Oh my goodness. The, uh, the crews fought valiantly, but the uh, internal fires obviously proved too much. And in the end, one torpedo was enough. The, uh, the third torpedo we fired missed because she, um, she obviously drastically changed her course. So uh, not unsurprising, really. Um, so one torpedo, and we get a, a big merchant prize like this. Happy days. Confirmation then, I-121 uh, sunk the uh, Cameron Merchant, 10,700 tonnes. The rest got away, but we could potentially call in um, airstrikes to try and hit them. Got the Euler Merchant S2 and obviously the trawler as well. One command point gained. Uh, one thing I did notice, despite saying she's got 42 torpedoes, they are all apparently for the rear tube she's got no forward um, torpedoes anymore so she needs to go back for a refit now I think we need is it level 3 port we need for a refit uh, which could be a problem do we have a level 3 port anywhere no well we've got these ones which are level 5 and that one as well but we know now that one, you can't um, release some repair there, but we can resupply. So, okay, what I, want, I probably want to do is get another submarine and get her on patrol as here while I, uh, I-121 is um, heading back for um, a resupply. Because it's doing some great work, and actually I think we'll get some submarines operating out here and down here as well. Because uh, that seems to be doing a good job. We've got 123 command points, so I think that... Uh, nope, that destroyer hasn't released, so we've still got a few more points to um, have a look at. If we just have a look at uh, submarines... Um, uh, we've got the Kira Arison um, class. Um, I-122, that's the one, isn't it? We don't want... Oh, hang on, sorry. Thought we were on submarines, yes. We don't want those 23, which is this. This is the one. We've got the um, K. I don't even. I, yeah, I don't know how to pronounce that. Um, K. Ada um, submarine. Is that better? Let's have a look. Type. 89 torpedo is the same number of tor torpedo 16 54 
Seems a hell of a step up. Um, you know, you want an anti-aircraft on a torpedo. It's not what it's that there to designed to do. Got better um, sonar as well. Okay, that's thirty. And we've got the Type 4 of that one as well. So that's the Type 3 A and B, and we've got the Type 4. It's got 14 torpedoes. Oh, I'm confused. Right. So this is what we've got. And they've said they've got 54 torpedoes. Confused. Anyway, so we might get some, uh, some of the standard torpedo uh, submarines and get them back. I'm not quite sure what's going on there. Right, so let's, where, how should we send you back? Let's sell you back up here. 89 hours, okay. Uh, meantime, we were we were looking at potential um, aircraft carrier, weren't we? So let's have a look at the aircraft carrier. Um, Sorayu, is that the one? That could well be the one. That's going to be 99, so that'll leave us 24 points. Um, we could potentially get a a light car a cruiser uh, for the anti-aircraft, I'm thinking here. Um, they're only 12. Um, and then maybe a couple of... Not them. <laughs> Patrol boats seem to have done quite well, haven't they? Um, the anti-aircraft seems to be okay. What we probably do need is um, see this is six. What have these got? The um, Chihidori class escort. Um, it's got torpedoes, twenty depth charges. Passive sonar, no active sonar. That's what we probably need, isn't it? Something with active sonar um, to detect any submarines, because that active sonar one nautical mile. Because the carrier will certainly be a um, a target for submarines. But yeah, we won't be able to get our other U-boat. Oh. Do I hold off and wait till we get some of those heavy cruisers released? It's, it's just it's just such a large amount of command points to put into one um, effort, really, isn't it? A carrier and uh, one asset which could be lost so quickly. <laughs> it would be a huge benefit. It's kind of like Star Wars with the Death Star. It's like all your assets go into one huge weapon. Potential is unmounted, but if it gets destroyed, oh my god, you're in a bad position. Um, nine more command points from the ships being released and repaired. That's the destroyer. Good. That's looking better now. 132 is the is the score. Let's get these uh, full up with troops one more time and head back to Makisar. Is that the lot? Yeah, that's the lot, right? Into the the, uh, the breach, dear friends. Twenty-two hours back. That's a very um, heavily trudged bit of water, isn't it? But yeah, okay. So I one two one is coming back for response. She's got rear torpedoes, so she can still effectively fight. We just got to point the rear at anything that comes in our direction. It's not ideal, but it will work. Okay, it's just come past 11 o'clock on the 27th. You can see the resupply is making its way in, and we've got the Oscars coming back to, after a refuel, to come and fly cap over that um, group. But oh, the Helens have spotted a ship down here. I forgot to call. Oh my goodness, I forgot. With the discussions of the um, ship being out of torpedoes, I forgot to um, send the aircraft down to attack the. The ships down here, didn't I? Maybe this Helen has re retrieved the situation. Three ships spotted. Oh, thank heavens. Let's see what she's found. Here she is. Where are they? Three ships over there. Is that the oiler? 
That certainly looks like the... No. Well, no, I take it back. That's an S2 merchant. That's an oiler, like we saw. And we've got another Cameron ship there. No escort with them. Ooh. Right. No, wait, there is an escort with them. So that is like the same convoy layout that we spotted, but we sunk this with the submarine. So, um, okay, it must be another... This must be their standard layout for their uh, convoys. So we found another one. Right, let's call an airstrike in against this. Right, so this is the Helen here who spotted it. And what we've got over here, we have... Yeah, we can get... Let's get two Bettys. Hmm. Okay, well, we'll get the Bettys um, sailing over here. All that will lead the way and then sort of head like that so they can spot them. Um, I think we've lost these. I mean, the Mavises were shot down, unfortunately. What about from Kirchin? Do we got some? We've got some Nels, 700. Can they make it down there? It's probably going to be by the time they um, set course and then they can make it. They can make it down there. But um, they'll probably be um, out of fuel and not spotting them. But I thought we could look at that. What, what about um, Tarakan up here? Got some Nels again, potentially. Let's get them sent down here. And they've got a little bit of time to uh, hunt for them. Good. Um, thinking about what well, we're just thinking about the carrier. We've got an anti -sub um, submarine patrol here. I could maybe stick the carrier in here with a light cruiser, and that would be a reasonable escort force, wouldn't it? Because we'd want our anti-submarine patrol to be with our flat top. Hmm. I'll ponder it. I'll ponder it while our ships and task groups make their way closer to the, the targets. At 12 o'clock on the 27th of February, our resupply convoy, as they're nearing the... Uh, Makassar um, port, um, we've got air, enemy aircraft coming in. Of course, our escorts or our, our fighters, which are capping us, have not quite returned yet from their refueling. Uh, so they are still out to sea, unfortunately. So, um, yes, we are going to have to fight our way through this. Eyes peeled for the skies, and nothing spotted yet. Starting evasive maneuvers. Anti aircraft going up there. It's is it the Martins coming back? Well, they had six of them last time. There's four of them. Oh, there's three more. And they've they've got another one from somewhere out of uh, maintenance, perhaps. One smoking already. Direct hit on one of our merchant and um, troop carriers. The other three, are they coming for us as well? Let's have a quick look. This doesn't initially look good. No, it's not. Start fighting the fires. Let's um, break off and slow right down. Stop the fire spreading. If we can get the fires out, we might be able to save this ship. I'm not sure. Did they, they drop those bombs, uh, those three? Did, did I just miss where they dropped them? Okay, bit of good news. We've got the fires out. The fires are out. Um, so she's heavily damaged, moderate flooding. But so we've lost, lost these integrity of these two compartments here. So she's very... <laughs> this bit... Um, oh, it's further back. It's this bit here. This bit and this bit where the boats are, are is very badly damaged. The bit where the flag is and the mast is fine. Um, but we'll be once we finish repairs, get the flooding out. Um, yeah, get all this repaired, get the flooding out, and hopefully we can get her back underway. She's got propulsion, she's a bit slow, but um, at the moment um, she looks recoverable. Confirmation then, uh, we were able to save the uh, Kotuku Maru 
heavy damage, got the um, flooding down to minor, 73% um, propulsion, got that back up and running, so she's not too bad, she's damaged, but um, still fit for duty. None of the aircraft shot down. Meantime, our Oscars have joined our resupply task group and they've spotted aircraft coming in. What's the better thing? These aren't going to be, there's going to be like 30 fighters. Oh, here we go. Aircraft dead ahead, what are they? Oh yes, they're fighters. Thousands of them. Engage boys, engage. Oh, we lost one already. Brilliant. Great start. One of our aircraft being shot down. Oh, there's, there's hundreds of them. Absolutely hundreds of fighters. There's another wave. Oh my god, there's three waves of fighters against our three boys. Um, okay, I think I might actually pull these guys back. There's no point. They're just going to get absolutely shot down. I think they're buffaloes. He's behind one, though. He's got him smoking. Ditching their drop tanks to um, hopefully be able to dogfight a little bit better. Um, if they can stay near the the fleet, maybe we can get some protection from them. The anti-aircraft fire can shoot down some fighters. I've lost one. I want at least one shot down to uh, recoup my losses. Buffalo's in bad way. Hopefully we can finish him off. Got him. Good shooting, boy. Happy days. Oh, there's another one gone in. Hopefully that isn't... No, there's our... He's smoking, so he must have shot down another one. Brilliant. Um, coming in now. We've got, we got one going for the fleet, it would seem. Fair dues. We've got him on our tail. There is somebody coming in. Right, there's two of us. See if we can tag team and get the one behind. We're going for the one in front. Come on, one of you needs to act as a wingman. Got him. Right. Just in time. Anti-aircraft fire coming up. Get him. They will have to return to base if they can survive this fight and um, refuel. Because now they've got rid of their drop tanks, but that's not too bad. They'll have served the purpose. Okay, it's not the bombers which we wanted them to attack, but. And then they got him. Well, they did have little bombs under their wings as well. So they were um, handicapped. Confirmation then. 12 enemy Brewsters, Brewster Buffaloes, attacked. Uh, we had three aircraft, three Oscars, covering the, um, the fleet. Uh, we lost one straight away, but the other two did and, well, yeah, brilliantly. Shot down two apiece. Four fighters shot down. Happy days. And at half past one, our Betty's been sent down. Ah, they've spotted the ships. Fantastic, right. Um, let's target the oiler. Or do we want to target the, the Cameron at the back? Let's have a look. What do we reckon? Um, let's uh, set up for an attack and go like that. Um, but if we switch to oilers... And uh, you know, gone the wrong way. There you go. That's 2,800 tons. Let's go for the camera then. Let's go for the ship at the rear. Target that. That definitely looked like a camera to me. Um, well, from from where I can see. Let's get that locked in. And that is going to be our target. Okay, they are nearing the ships now. First puffs of anti-aircraft fire. Let's just double check that it does. Yeah, it does look like Cameron. Yep, I'm happy with my identification. Now, 
how's our flat bombing? We know the Ally flat bombing is did I duck accurate. Um, we will see how our Japanese forces compare. Bomb gone. It's a big bomb as well. If that hits, it's going to be messy. Well, yeah, near miss or a strike, I'm not quite sure. Certainly damaged the rear of the ship. And our bombers seem to be um, okay, departing the area. Bit of a fire, nothing much to report really. Um, but we've spotted them and uh, we've got the other aircraft flights coming in as well. So hopefully we can, um, this will at least slow the... Uh, the convoy down, make it easier pickings for our other aircraft coming in. Confirmation then, two aircraft attacked, um, minor damage, minor flooding to the Cameron, um, nothing much to report. Good. Um, meanwhile, these guys have made it back. Can we unload all cargo and just make sure it has unloaded because the fuel and stuff never does. Everything else is good. Right, let's have a look at. Um, yeah, we can go upgrade to a level two airfield at Banjamasan. Fantastic. Right, what does that give us? Um, I think it gives us more ands, doesn't it? Do we have any uh, two ands? So uh, not much really. But um, okay, it's so a level two airfield now, and that'll certainly help us um, patrol this area of the water. Um, good, good. What have we got in supplies up here? We've got a thousand supplies up there. What do we need to get that to a level three airfield? Two thousand supplies. So another um, 1,950. Uh, wow, okay. Um, another 150 engineering and oh, 185 fuel. Yeah, we don't have that. Now we've, yeah, we, we probably could just about scrape this to a level three airfield, which would be good because then we can. I'm thinking about the Java attack, so I think we definitely need to bring all our resources and bar bundle them up here. Uh, how are you guys? You're not quite close enough yet. Can we? There goes the fighters. Are we going to get another attack before they can get in? Yes, we are. Can these guys unload their cargo? Oh, I think they have. Yep, they didn't have to go right to close. Here we go. So we've 8,400 troops. Bombers coming in. Um, but the fight for Makassar is certainly on. And that's a level 2 airfield, so if we can capture that intact, that'll give us a huge push. Dilly, I think that's the, that's the neutral, isn't it? Um, but yeah, if we can sort of maybe sort of cut through here and cut these ports off. Oh, that's a big airbase at Manadu. We might need to do something about that. That could be a get a, a, a kind of like a bombardment group and just try and finish that one off. Just obliterate it, make it. it even if we don't capture it, we can just um, get everything obliterated so the port and the airfields are gone so they can't use any resources from there. Again, we could just obliterate these and keep the air bases here. Uh, and then we've got the big bases on Java, which we need to level four air. Yeah, that definitely needs to be bombarded. So does that. Yes. Oh, and that. So these all need to be bombarded. So we definitely need some heavy cruisers, maybe a battleship to bombard them to try and knock out their defences and uh, weaken them severely. Um, right, anyway, we have um, a raid to survive. So, it's the last action of the day. Enemy aircraft coming in. Where are they? They should be coming from the land. There's the land over there. You can see Makassar, our We've got 8,000 boys bravely fighting on that beachhead and into the into the woodland, into the forest, or the jungle, to try and capture the facilities there. There they are, Martins, four of them, 
probably a wave or two as well after him. I only see one wave at the moment. Yeah, I can't see anything else. But that doesn't mean they're not coming from a different angle, perhaps. But definitely four Martins coming in. Okay, here they come. There is another wave. Yep, it's the seven Martins they've got, obviously, at the base. Looks like they're going for our old friend in the middle there. She seems to be getting all the attention. Unfortunately. Yeah, all going for the stricken. Um, oh, is that the one that's been hit? I, could be, I can't tell from here. Um, but one of these has been hit previously and we saved, and it looks like they're going for her again. Oh, man. Wow. She's got several bombs hit her. Um, and bearing in mind one of these bombs took down a... Oh, what's the point? She's gone. I was going to say, one bomb took out a heavy cruiser. Oh yeah, look at that. Two, two, two direct hits by the um, 800 pound bombs and an ma internal magazine. She's obliterated. Instantly. Well, 15 aircraft attack, Martins and B-17s. Obviously the Martins got a direct hit on the Ata Ama Maru um, freighter sunk for 6,784 tons, unfortunately. So we've now got two spots in that group, which we may fill. We could fill potentially with um, Task Force 7. Um, maybe we could, are these okay? These will perfectly fit troops so we could just load up how many troops we got in Van Jamison actually 6,000 um, maybe we could do a run into there but these guys are doing a great job as it is um, yeah so they're, they're sailing um, resupply is now sailing back out to uh, Balik Papan to collect some more troops got 7,800 troops there it's all looking good and here in Makassar, we are in the ascendancy with 8,427 troops on the ground. Um, we are now outnumber the defenders, which is good to see. We've got I-121 heading back for a resupply. Um, and we've got some ships, sorry, some aircraft sailing, sending down here to try and find some more um, targets with those ships, which is also very nice indeed. So. There we go. We're making a bit of progress. We've got level 2 airfield here now in Banjamasin, which is good. And we're now in the ascendancy to hopefully take Makassar in the coming days. Uh, we have 132 command points. Why does my camera keep resetting? That's annoying. Um, which is good. Um, as I say, 99 will be what we'll need to spend to get an aircraft carrier. And we could potentially marry it up with the ASW patrol here. Maybe get a light cruiser as well for a bit more anti-aircraft fire um, cover, um, which should be good. So she'll be escorted. I can't help but feeling she will be an absolute sitting duck, though. Um, as I said earlier, I, we also want to get some heavy, heavy cruisers or maybe a battleship because we need that kind of firepower to start bombarding some of these and knocking down their defences. Um, and I also want to get a couple more submarines so how we spend the points is going to be critical now do I want to spend all those points on, oh, I'd, love a, I'd love an aircraft carrier but they, as I say 99 points if we're looking at a battleship they're 71 so um, I mean, you can't buy the Queen Elizabeth so let's not ask we, so we can get the Congo class I think that's all that's available to us um, but we could maybe get any battle cruisers. No, it's just the Brits who got battle cruisers. But heavy cruisers, 26. See, they're they're not they're not unreasonable prices. We potentially could get four heavy cruisers for the for the money we've got, um, which is something to consider. Light cruisers are only if we look something like the um, the the uh, Kuma. Twelve. 
the uh, Tenerai, yeah, Ryu, sorry, um, nine. So they're you know they're affordable and they're not too bad at all. Um, so yeah, what, what's your thoughts and comments in the section below? Please put them. Uh, feel free. Do we do we put all our eggs into one basket and go for a carrier, or do we maybe? Get a bombardment group and start hitting some of these um, defenses down, knocking them down, making the Allies spend more money to resupply. It will, of course, um, take away the number of aircraft they have as well. And I'd like to get some um, submarines out here as well. So, yeah, lots of p potential ways we could go. Forks in the road and all that kind of. Uh, good stuff, but we'll leave it there for now. Thanks ever so much for watching. Take care, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.